In this video, we will present you quickly the interface of the software and we will see that it is possible to build a simple model and display a simulation of it in less than 10 minutes. Once you have launched Gamma, you can see several panels displayed. The main panel is the editing panel. It is the place where you will write your model using the dedicated language Gamel. The left panel is the navigation panel. Here you can find all your projects and the examples delivered with the software. Do not hesitate to run the existing models to have an idea of the possibilities of the platform. The first thing to do is then to create a new project. Right click on user models and create a new gamma project. Let's name it 10 Mintudo for instance. Then right click on the project and create a new model inside this project. We can name this project my project, for instance. When clicking on finish, a new file appears in the editing panel with the header model my model. Before starting to implement our model, let's write the skeleton of the model. This will help us to organize better our work. The global section will contain the characteristics of our world. In the species section, we will define the species which will populate our world. In the experiment section, we will define the inputs and the outputs of our simulation. Let's define a display as output called My Display. You can now see that a new button has appeared named My Experiment. Click on this button to launch the simulation. You can notice that the organization of the panels has changed a bit. The main panel is now used for the displays you have created. The organization of panels is called a perspective. The perspective used to edit models is called the modeling perspective, while the perspective used to run simulation is called the simulation perspective. You can go back to the modeling perspective anytime you want by clicking on the top left button. In the simulation perspective, there is a button to play the simulation, another to run the next step, and another one to stop the simulation. You also have a slider to change the speed of execution of the simulation. Let's go back to the modeling perspective. Now that we know a bit more about the interface of Gamma, it is time to write our model. We will build a very simple model where humans and rats live together. Rats can be either infected or not infected. They can bite a human if a human is near enough, transmitting the disease to the human. If a non-infected rat bites an infected human, the rat becomes infected. Our world will contain a certain number of people, let's say 50, and a certain number of rats, let's say 20. We will have two different species of agents the species people and the species rats. Each one of those two species has a boolean attribute is infected. For people this attribute is initialized to false. For rats this attribute is initialized to true with a probability of 50%. The visual aspect of an agent can be specified in the aspect scope. Each people agent is represented in the display as a circle of color, red when they are infected, green otherwise. The aspect of our rats is the same as the one for the human, but with a smaller circle. In our output display, we show the species people and rats with the aspect we have just created. The last thing to do is to create our agents in the world. All the statements under the init scope will be computed once at the beginning of our simulation. Now let's launch the experiment. As our last experiment is still running, we have to close it before running the new one. Our rats and people are displayed as expected with green and red circles. 
When running the simulation, nothing happens since our species still don't have any behaviors. Let's close the simulation to come back to our modeling perspective. We have to add some movement for our agents. Let's give to our people the skill moving. Skills are used to give to your species some specific attributes and actions used to fulfill a certain aptitude. The keyword reflex is used to create a behavior for our agent. This behavior is executed at every step. Wonder is an action of the skill moving, which moves the agent to a nearby position. Our rats have the same behavior. Do not forget to add the moving skill to the species rats or an error will rise. To finish our model, we need to add a new behavior which will allow the rats to bite the people at a certain distance range. Let's declare a new attribute for our rats called attack range. Our rats have a new behavior called attack. This behavior only happens if there is a people at a distance smaller or equal to the attack range. The at distance operator returns a list of agents at a certain distance. The ask statement is used to modify the attributes of the asked agent using the pseudo variable self. The caller is designated with the pseudo variable myself. Here, self refers to the people at range distance and myself refers to the rat who attacks. We transmit the infection from human to rat if the human is infected and from rat to human if the rat is infected. When running the simulation one more time, we have all that we wanted. Rats and people are moving randomly, and when a rat is close enough to a human, he bites him, transmitting the infection. After a while, all the rats and all the people are infected. The display we chose here is only one representation of our model, among others. Without changing the model, we add a new display in the experiment scope called My Chart. This display contains a chart named Number of Infected People. The chart displays the number of infected people at every step in a plot. You can now see that a new display has appeared for your simulation. This new display helps you to follow better the progress of the infection. At the end, we obtain a nice logarithmic function. If we want to play simulations with different parameters without changing the model, we can declare some inputs of our experiments. Let's declare two input values, the number of people and the number of rats. The parameter view is a specific view of the simulation perspective. It contains the parameters we have declared for our experiments, a button to revert parameters to their initial values, a button to reload the simulation with the new parameter values, and a button to add a new simulation with the current parameters. We can now play with different values of our parameters and analyze the results.